I'm out. I don't feel like much of an Iron Man after that. It might be very private here, but crikey, it's um, it's quite a hill walk to get up here. Welcome back to another video. Finally, an overnighter. I walked out of the house and thought, oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Been scorching day, blue skies, not a single cloud. And just as I got out of the car, <laughs> it started raining. It's not raining now, which is good. So I'll get my camp set up. What I plan to do is try out uh, my new tent. I got a tent from Hong Kong. I do quite a bit of travel in my job um, at a real, hopefully, bargain price because um, it was not very much money at all. I think it's known as the Lan Shan One. Um, so I'm going to put that up now. I've not used it yet, so bear with me. I'll probably get quite heavily into the edit here. I'm going to have a small fire, cook myself up a cup of tea. Uh, if I'm hungry, I might have a bit of soup. But the main event is breakfast in the morning. Um, you've seen the last video now. Um, about my smoked salmon, so that's involved. I'm looking forward to it. I've got a barrel load of uh, equipment and ingredients here. So get the tent up and make that fire. Here it is, unused. I did get it out in the garden and put some proofing around the seams, which is recommended. But there we go, 3F Lan Shan 1, weighs 600 grams. Well, this is the, the Lunch and One trekking pole, and I think it's brilliant. I'm going to just put all my sort of sleeping bits and bobs inside now and get the fire going. Um, and then, whilst that's taking, I'll get my sleeping arrangements sorted out. This is the uh, pit that I used for my. Billy can duck cooking it. I really don't want to run out of light here, so better get a wiggle on. Um, I try to budget quite hard with um, my camping equipment, um, hence the, <laughs> the tent here. The one thing I've spent a bit of money on is this sleeping bag. Well, it's a sleeping quilt, uh, and it's made by a company in America, handmade, a company in America called Enlightened Equipment, tested to minus 13 and it weighs 
Oh, it weighs 390 grams. Yeah, I weighed it just before we came out. It's absolutely brilliant. I've only winter Scotland camping would I sort of upgrade to um, a heavier sleeping bag or sleeping quilt, but this is just the business. As I say, it wasn't cheap, but it packs down to nothing. It weighs nothing. And I, I prefer having a sleeping quilt rather than a sleeping bag as uh, sometimes I get a bit hot and I get a bit claustrophobic in those mummy style sleeping bags. So this is the business. Also gonna use the um, Thermos, Thermos Neolite Air. I've got the um, schnozzle and I'm gonna inflate that, get that in here as well. And as recommended by Paul Mesner, and I think it's a brilliant little addition is this Trekology pillow. Um, blows up and just has that for hooking under your sleeping mat so that it doesn't slide around uh, at night. So I'm really pleased with that. Right, I'll get this all set up. Rating against the light. It's only the end of July and the light's starting to fade already. Mm -hmm. And it's raining. Well, between the showers, it's very nice. It's actually not that bad. They're just passing through and I see the wind's coming from that direction and there's quite a big clearance. So fingers crossed, they're just a, a few, but yeah, it's a pain, but I'm quite interested to try the Lanshan because I've sealed all the seams on it and it's not a tent I'd take out in really bad weather, but showery weather like this i'm quite interested to see whether the uh, improvements i've done on it work so yeah it's just great to be out got my fire keep it nice and small because i'm not going to be cooking on it got my hot chocolate and all is well i'll just sit this out read my book and probably report back as the sun goes down Well, the light's just starting to go now. It's, it's only half past nine, but I'm quite tired now. Luckily that thunder didn't come in. I don't know if I got any of it on film, but I was a bit worried about that. I didn't want to be uh, 
in this tent with a carbon fibre pole <laughs> in a thunderstorm. But clear skies now, it's all gone through and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep and a great breakfast. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, go and have a cup of tea or something, because I know I've left my camera out there. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Okay, you're not watching? Right. Well, good morning, everyone. That was a really good night, um, really warm. Half the time I didn't have the quilt actually on me. Um, yeah, really pleased about that. It's just seven o'clock in the morning now. So I slept from about, yeah, about midnight till half past six, which isn't bad really for a wild camp. Looking forward to a cup of tea and I'll get this breakfast on the go. Thank you again, Simon. It's just starting to rain, great. So I'll crack on. What I'm gonna make this morning, I'm gonna use some of that smoked salmon and I'm gonna make dill pancakes and smoked salmon scrambled egg. And for this, I've got some plain flour with a teaspoon of baking powder. I've of course got my salmon. I have Milk, cream, some salt and pepper, some butter, and some dill. That's enough, I think. Oh, I forgot to add, I've got some eggs as well. I need the yolk of an egg in here, so I'm just going to separate it now. goes the yolk. That's enough. Biodegradable. And goes the dill. And a little bit of milk. Oh, this rain's really coming down now. Not good. And you want it quite, yeah, quite a thick. 
butter there really. And then just give this egg yolk a bit of a whisk up. frying pan. And then I just have one big pancake I think. You see it starting to bubble away there. And that might be time to give it a turn. Ha ha ha! It's rising nicely with the baking powder that we've got in there. Oh yes. Right, well that's ready. So I'm going to put that aside in the stove. Get the other bits done. I'm just going to take some chunks off this. In my bowl, last egg. And the secret to decent scrambled egg cream. Don't mess around. Pepper. Some salt. Give it a whisk. Starting to rain. Ah. <laughs> Briefly back into the house, I was getting myself into a real pickle there. It was raining so hard, I wanted to protect this camera, and I had a polythene bag draped over the camera to try and uh, keep it out of the rain. And I didn't see that at one crucial point, making the scrambled egg that it had stopped filming. Well, I stopped it filming. So I don't want you to miss the egg going into the pan and making the scrambled egg and salmon mixture. So I'm gonna do it here at home and then we'll cut back to me tasting the same-ish product back at camp. <laughs> oh well. So on we go with the frying pan. goes a little bit of butter. So in that 
butter starts to foam away. I've got the scrambled egg, well, the egg and cream, salt and pepper mixture. And that goes in, and this is where you've got to be quick. There we go. It starts almost immediately. Just as it's all beginning to solidify like that, in with the salmon. Stirs. and off with the heat. And that's the essential bit. The rest will just warm through, it'll warm that salmon through, it doesn't need to cook, it just needs to be warm. And there you go. Let's cut back to the campsite. Sorry about that. Well, I don't know what's happened. Sometimes I'm filming, sometimes I'm not. But I've made some scrambled egg. I've just put in some smoked salmon. But the main thing is I've got this lovely dill pancake and I think I've got that on the pictures. So. Let's give this a go. Smoked salmon. Dill pancake. Mmm. That isn't bad. Mmm. Dill pancake, scrambled egg, homemade smoked salmon. Mmm. Well, kicking myself there, but the um, as I said, the pancake was the um, the slightly unusual thing, and I think I've got all that on film. That it's started to pour now. My poor camera. Um, I've got a cover on it, but I don't want to risk it getting wet because it's fairly new. So I'll keep eating on. Pack up and be off. Next video, time with the idea, I'm going to be making a knife and a sheath and also uh, some of those pouches. I want to make some side pouches uh, to modify one of my rucksacks. Can't decide which one I'm going to do next, but stay tuned in. Please subscribe. 2,100 subscribers now, which is great. Thank you very much. It's raining harder and harder. I'm going to say take solace in the tent and finish this, pack up and go home. Thanks again for tuning, look forward to seeing you again. Mm -mm.